If you are holding on to XRP and you think that the price of XRP is about to go higher, this video is going to be really important for you because it may actually go much higher than you think because right now the narrative is changing. That narrative is quantum financial system and we know we went through some of these documents before but keep this in mind. These are updated files and here you are getting the central bankers coming out in a new updated version saying quantum computing and AI threatens the financial system. So guess what? These people knew that way before. You actually got, I believe it's the CTO of Ripple highlighting the fact that they already understand quantum computing is a threat to Bitcoin and crypto. But remember, if they are not working on that technology to build a quantum cryptography based technology. Whereas now you see post quantum cryptography and they're taking you through how that XRP ledger can handle all this. Now, that's not just a random GitHub stuff. You go into detailed studies to see where they are talking about these, right? They understand the fact that Bitcoin's fundamental weakness is that when quantum computing is coming out, it's kind of done unless they move into a new consensus model, which the maxis will kind of, you know, say, now nah, we are not doing that. But the key part here is this one. Bank of International Settlement has done a recent stuff where they actually showcase this and give you the understanding of where they are going, the post quantum cryptography. That's just what we highlighted and then the entire document where they take you through what's really important and especially when you go through this document you get the idea of yeah it's changing and it's changing for good for those who understand what this is about welcome to the scientific investor family with the normal retail guys get learn how to become the next top 10 person of this world right now when you actually watch through all these news the narratives and anything and everything coming into the market we all agree that xrp ledger and its adoption is increasing we all agree that it is mostly undervalued in any sense and that means we would all come to an agreement on this point that it is going to outperform a lot of these coin and not just an outperformance it's gonna surge maybe sooner than we think and when it actually surges we want to actually look for are these small accounts trying to push the price higher or the giants pushing it back up that becomes important to see if they are re-entering the market they are going to push the price back up because when we saw that the price action is about to do something like this, we highlighted the fact that saying, okay, we may actually drop like this. And if you go back onto that post, you know, we were highlighting the fact that, okay, watch for this. The market may actually do around a nine, 9.3% 9 drop. And where are we right now? We actually did drop around that point and we bounced. Now, what's important here is to understand the pattern itself because if history rhymes and this is the pattern which we are watching usually that breaks to the upside and before it breaks to the upside it kind of gives you a fake out and then it travels back down and it does not actually go back down to that bottom instead it bounces off at a higher point now that's i think what we are watching here because we kind of got a fake out here and we came back down and we're doing this cycle maybe something like this now, yeah, that's just one chart. You can actually go through in and around, take different charts and look at what's happening. Even in this case here, it kind of shows you something similar. And you didn't get a big fake out here. Instead, it showed you, okay, we are about to repeat the pattern. We are getting rejected. We're going down, but it didn't happen. It dropped a little bit. That was a bluff. And then it actually went back up. Now, did it collapse after that? For sure it did. But the question is, What's your macro trend and where are you headed? And that's where this trend becomes really important. You are watching that this is about to break higher. Now understand the macro dollar is at a resistance. 
Mm -hmm. Then you are looking at the markets, do a retesting. Yes, the economy is not looking good. People are losing job. Cost of living crisis is everywhere. But the market is saying, uh -uh, I don't care. I went up. I broke this range. I'm retesting this. And uh -uh, I'm going higher. Maybe that's having a higher odds right now. For some reason, it's showing I'm retesting and I'm holding on to that level. So if it's bouncing off from there, it doesn't look good for those who are out of the market. Maybe the central banks are going to push massive liquidity and those who have assets, they gain and those who don't, they lose. That's one of the biggest points. And on a weekly, XRP is showing us the fact that it is holding on to this particular level, which is a long term level. And we just got a weekly close there. Yeah, for sure. We'll have to zoom in to understand what we are doing at that time. Because if you are to retest this bottom, this range, you may actually get a rejection. And 0.48 is going to be one of the critical area for us to look at. Because Bitcoin also shows you that possibility, which we cannot deny. And at the time when the Bitcoin dominance is here, if it's breaking lower, that's great for altcoins. If it's bouncing off, it's not. But let's zoom in and look at what the price action is showing you. We kind of had huge momentum to the downside where there is no wick to the upside here. You see, watch that. Here, it tried to go up, but the sellers are like, no, I'm going to kick you down. It pushed all the way back down. The momentum continued to the downside. But then, now we're getting the opposite. They pushed it lower, but bias slowly came back or in this sense bitcoin gained more money again at this level you are trying to get that so unless you get a big candle breaking through to the downside i wouldn't actually go for it it can be a bluff in this range where it shows you like okay i'm going to the downside and then immediately pop back up that's a big possibility so that means keep an eye on bitcoin short term trend is showing you that i'm breaking to the downside the trend is fading mm -hmm. rsi is suggesting i'm going down macd is showing you i'm crossing to the downside making a double top so what is it actually going to be because when the price action is inside this territory say around 24 780s 24 600 if you still stay above that that's going to be bullish but if you actually break now we want to see what the hell is happening because the health crisis is kind of coming back into the market. If you look at the news, the narrative, the masking up and everything else is kind of coming back. So we want to actually see what's happening on the macro side as well. But that's not we are going to look at. What we are interested in this video is looking at the reality. The quantum financial system, the talks are already in. We are watching how things are looking forward and when the central bank comes out and say okay we need to do something so that we have an edge yeah it's the fed saying we have to do something but when you actually go look at the bank of international settlement which is kind of you know a body which is uh, giving directions to the central banks which kind of acts as a central bank of central banks they're talking about the eurozone where they are kind of giving you the idea Bank of France and Deutsche, actually in the Euro system, they actually tried this. What did they do? They actually wanted to see if this project, the project LEAP, can solve the issues or threats posed by quantum computer. And what are they really using here, the technology base? So they want to actually see a quantum resistant movement of information using this updating and replacing the cryptographic security algorithm, which means they are already using cryptographic technology, which is the blockchain technology. Great. And the future quantum computers may be able to break some of this, right? So that is what this is all about. And then you actually jump into this, looking at the post-quantum cryptography. Now, how many of you have stayed with me for at least two or more years, say two and a half years or more? I had talked about this extensively in 2020, 2021, saying, I don't know when this is going to come out, but the university where I was doing my PhD back then, I was watching a lot of different, now it's Korea, you know, they are high in technology and those guys were giving you the idea in two to three years, we're going to get quantum computers in almost all the big offices. Now the talk is increasing. That means the technology is kind of ready to be deployed. Maybe not for the common man, but for the big organizations. There are like different algorithms which actually works. 
They're quantum algorithms, like two of them. One is actually really fast, one is slow. But if it's going into the quantum computing area, a lot of crypto networks are going to be hacked. So if you are in the proof of work system, where your payments are really slow, even either the payment is slow. And for the quantum computers, if Ripple itself has concerns and they are upgrading to increase the security, think about those ERC20 or Ether. It's going to go down, which means as soon as this information becomes public and people understand that threat, they will have to move out or else the market will force them to move out into a better project. Why? Hacks will be so common, normal, everyday, even just like what we are watching about the fires everywhere, right? So it's about contributing to quantum proofing financial system. Now, yeah, you can go through the entire document and scan through it, and it actually gives you what narrative they are looking at. But it all concludes to an area that they are looking to use the cryptographic techniques and they understand okay the current cryptographic techniques which they are using have some of these threats and they want to solve it by adding on to a layer of quantum cryptography or using different algorithms within that and back in the time when ripple actually gave you this it clearly highlighted the fact that they are working on it because they do understand this as of mid 2020 there is no clear first choice quantum resistant algorithm for sure that means they are already working on that uh-huh come back here read through this and understand how they are trying to stay up against this quantum threat they are trying to create an algorithm where they can actually resist this errors. See, if someone is to get into a hack into the system, they really don't want that information to be moved. So it's central banks doing the payments and they really don't want to leak those information. And that's where you actually get this. The ability of corner computer data need to be protected. They're actually coming up with the algorithm. And here, after two years of that, now they are talking about cryptographic hash algorithms. So that's XRP Ledger. Two years after this initial stuff, which means people are working hardly on this. They are talking about XRP Ledger and digital signature algorithms to be post-quantum. And now in 2023, when you actually see this, mm, it's interesting. Like if you actually go through all of these latest updates and you understand the fact that okay, this is something you cannot mess with and there is another project from the BIS uh, shout out to Edo Ferreira for highlighting this project Mariana CBDC's automated market makers and you also understand okay XRP Ledger just got that ability to AMM and now it's coming up and they highlight the fact that Ripple and Stella are two blockchain based companies that are trying to make these transfers cheaper Ripple provides various services via the use of its native token, the XRP. It's being named on the Bank of International Settlements. So if an Ether Maxi, the Bitcoin Maxi or any other Maxi come out and say, they, it's just Ripple net, nothing about XRP, they are in trouble. Why? The quantum computers are about to be deployed, at least by the governments, by big corporations. And that means... Countries like North Korea is going to have an edge, Iran, and all the countries who really want to hack into your system of Bitcoin and Ether, they are going to have trouble. So keep in mind, when the masses understand this, when the organizations understand this, when the big guys, they kind of step into this area, they are going to push the price of certain assets with clear governing structure, with an understanding of how you can withstand or resist the cryptographic area when you look at quantum computing and their ability. And that's where I think XRP is going to stand tall on. Now, yes, it's true that when we look at the market, we do understand it's not just the fundamentals. The fundamentals actually comes into play. But if you really don't grasp all of those fundamentals, you want to see how the market is grabbing onto that fundamentals. Because the problem is, we understand that this is true. But what if the market takes more time to digest that information before it actually kind of points to the upside? So that's what we are watching here. We are trying to understand what the market 
is trying to do so we had one drop we went back up we're trying to come back down at that point we are finding support that is the initial reason why falling broadening wedges takes you the idea that you are about to see a reversal just like the rising falling rising uh, broadening wedge kind of shows you a reversal to the downside maybe some of the crypto assets right now are showing you this on a shorter horizon not the macro horizon shorter horizon that can be a correction that can be a dip and an opportunity a massive opportunity so you have to look at assets where they are showing you opportunity because if you actually jump back into this market and you actually go through a lot of these charts you need to keep in mind this is crypto this is twitter now x you'll actually see a lot of people coming out jumping out and saying short this asset and i was actually watching some of those calls right and I was watching them being regular. In last two weeks, I've seen a lot of people saying, short Rune, short Rune, short Rune. And what happens, Rune has already done 100% to the upside. We were following it all the way till the breakout and giving you the exact reason. Look at that volume, look at this. And even after that, we saw people going to short at around 1.75. What happens the price goes again up to 1.9 so that means most of them are leveraged they are liquidated they are done you need to look for the price and the price action before you do something like that and if you are interested in getting that on the real time basis on a lot of these assets in the crypto market so that you know what these assets are doing and what most likely they are going to do then you can look at the patreon the link is given in the description below so guys, if you received value, please do smash that like button. I'll meet you guys in the next video. Bye for now.